All right, I hope you're having a great day. This is Wade from Fanatics. Wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Create a Link tool in Impact Radius, which is the new platform that all the Fanatics programs are running on. Um, really cool, powerful, super easy to use tool that I highly recommend, uh, whether you are promoting with a you know, website or blog or whether you're promoting on social media. If you're promoting on social media, this has got some really powerful tools, including uh, vanity short links that you're definitely gonna wanna learn about. So um, to start with, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Fanatics site I'm going to find a product that I want to promote. In this case, uh, lately, these uh, face coverings have been selling like hotcakes, so I want to promote some Washington Huskies face coverings. So what I'm going to do, go here, click on the link on the site. I'm going to get the URL, copy and paste that. I'm going to go over here into the Create a Link interface, make sure that I've got Fanatics selected. I'm going to copy, or sorry, paste the uh, URL into the bar over here. I'm going to clean up all of the uh, query string, anything with the question mark, and after that, uh, from the link, that's all internal track, and we don't need that. And then what I'm going to do is, if I want to track my results of the short link that I'm about to create, I'm going to go and create a sub ID under advanced here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click advanced, and it's going to give me some options. Um, I can put up to three sub IDs into a link or a shared ID. The difference between a, shub, a sub ID and a shared ID is that sub IDs are visible only to you, shared IDs are visible to both you and to us. So when you're deciding which one you want to use, just that's how you make your decision. Is it just for you or is it something that would benefit both parties? In this case, I'm going to go and call this one UWFCs for UW face coverings. And then I'm going to click create. Okay. You can see there's a little sign that came up here said this is generated. And so now I've got a short link that I could use if I wanted to. But if I want to customize this and have something that I can share out on social media that might make a little bit of sense in terms of what I'm trying to promote, what I can do is I can click on this little pencil right here. I can edit that. So I can call that UW face coverings. And then all I have to do is click on the checkbox and that is saved. And then I can go ahead and share that link out and it will track sales. Um, couple things to think about here. Number one is you can use this on Facebook. I don't recommend using this tool to share it to Facebook on its own because whenever you post a link to Facebook and Facebook tries to pull an image through the link, that doesn't work very well. It kind of mangles the image, gets it all out of ratio and doesn't look good. So what I usually recommend for people who are gonna promote on Facebook is they actually save the image on their machine, upload it as a photo, write their own copy for why people should check this product out, including their FTC disclosure and their call to action, then close it out with this short link. Um, so that's Facebook. If you wanna share out to Twitter, uh, if you, as long as you've got your, uh, you know, you're logged into Twitter on your browser, you can click this icon here and it'll pop up um, a Twitter window and you can compose your message and it'll include that link. Um, on Twitter, I also like to share an image. I like to write my own copy, you know, close it out with your, your uh, call to action or the hashtag ad anyway, and uh, the short link. Um, one cool thing that Impact has just added is if you're gonna do any offline promotion, um, like posters or business cards or anything like that, um, there's actually the ability to generate a QR code now. So all you have to do there is click on this link. It's gonna pop this up. You can download, uh, download this QR code. People can scan that with their phones and it's gonna go through, take them back to the page with the tracking intact. So that is generating a QR code. Uh, last thing to know about, uh, last couple things actually to know about using the create a link tool is that there is a list that's saved of the vanity links that you create. And so what you do is go up into ads under vanity links and you're gonna see a list of all the vanity links that have been created, including the landing page that they're going to, the domain that they're on, the vanity URL that you created, and any meta metadata, um, like the shared IDs or sub IDs or anything that you used. If you wanna clean these things up and get rid of them, you can go in and do that. You can go delete, or you can edit these, change them up if you want to. So that is the, um, the list of your vanity URLs. Um, if you want to see the results, of the vanity URLs that you create, what you're gonna to wanna to do is number one, make sure that you use sub IDs or shared IDs. And then you're gonna to wanna to go in here under reports and go to your performance by sub ID report. And that is where you will find reporting uh, based on those results. But you have to use sub IDs or shared IDs to be able to do that. So don't forget to do it. So that is how you can create um, your own vanity links uh, with Impact Radius. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop us an email 
partners at fanatics.com and anyone from the team here will help you out.